Welcome back to Living in Kigali. Before the break, we were talking about these beautiful ladies that we have on set today and what they do exactly and how they're impacting the community in Kigali. Um, now we want to take it back a little bit and talk about the fashion industry. What are they doing? What are some of the challenges and opportunities that they've met along the way? And what are some of the challenges that you could meet along the way as you start um, embarking on your journey as a business person or as a fashion designer in Kigali. So starting with Kesi, what are some of the challenges that you would highlight in fashion, particularly within Kigali? All right, um, I think the first challenge that I'll mention that is probably the most common in most fashion businesses is in terms of production. Mm -hmm. um, although we do things in Rwanda and are called made in Rwanda, most of the materials that we use and raw materials are not all in the country. And that becomes a challenge sometimes when there's like, oh, countries are refusing maybe to like let people um, do the imports maybe because of the whole pandemic or, um, or, or the pricing could just go high and then that's going to affect your cost as well because you had a certain production cost and then now if the production cost in that country rises, that also going to affect your own production right. cost and then that also affects the cost that you put out there, mm. which is probably why most uh, Made in Rwanda products are on a high price because right. their, their production is also high mm. because things are not in the country and that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, another challenge could also be that we don't have everything that we need to do um, in the country and then that affects the whole um, story of having things made in the country because it's easier to have things made in Rwanda when even the materials are from Rwanda. Mm. But the fact that we're going to have maybe one thing in, the, in Rwanda and another thing in China and another mm. thing in Turkey, then that um, it's still going to be made it's here, not 100 but then it's not 100% made in Rwanda. Originally right, from so the you country. lose some of that aspect of like yeah, the originality. Of the originality of the product being right. made in the country. Right. And that, I think that affects um, in terms of like the consistency of the product in the long run, mm -hmm. because then if you're not sure that you can have that product in your country whenever mm -hmm. you need it, and then that also affects the existence of that product mm -hmm. if that country ever loses that certain material. Right. Because then you mean that you're oh, depending on yeah. things that could change and that very are not quickly. necessarily in your country right as well. right yeah okay those are all uh, very heavy challenges and it makes sense now to me as like why made in Rwanda clothes are really really expensive mm -hmm. yeah. I mean we're not naming names or anything but like some of them are just crazy high yeah. um, now that we've highlighted some of the challenges what are some of the opportunities that are there that could possibly outweigh um, the challenges since it seems like y'all are doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say actually opportunities are very, very high, um, starting from the fact that we have a supportive government mm -hmm. and you're able to register your business through RDB in right. less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So you can get settled anytime you, you want get to started start. real yes. quick. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And another thing is um, in Rwanda, like Rwanda has positioned itself as a regional tech hub mm. in the in, in, in the industry. Mm. Um, for example, let's say for my business, mm -hmm. it's an online based business. And when I'm talking to a client, um, it's easy for them to know that they'll have to pay through Momo. So it's something that I don't have to stress on. Mm -hmm. And another thing is in Rwanda, um, we are Rwanda has built like um, a highly visible profile. Mm. So many people are coming in, right. um, tourists mm. and so th that attracts many people to Rwanda, mm -hmm. um, which is going to create a base, a, a, an actual right. high um, customer, customer base. base. And I hope the Kigalians who are listening right now should take that into um, action, right? It's more about learning about the culture, your culture, so that you can go on to fall in love with the brands and how they're showcasing your culture. So in the next segment, we're going to hand over to Ivan to take us through the Kigali Shortcut experience. I'll see you right after the break. <laughs> 